how you manage a lot of the 3D modeling efforts and, and anything that we need to use 3D models for to problem solve, really. And the processes um, that VDC sort of has in its toolbox has totally transformed how people consume information. So people are inherently visual. And so the better that you can provide visual aids for them, the better you're communicating your message. And so VDC, um, whether it's our workflows or the 3D models in general, really just kind of put together that, that, that extra piece of, oh yeah, now it makes sense. Um, so it's, it's really helpful to identify flaws um, or work through problems. With an engineering degree, I had two job offers that I wanted to pick from. One was a, an engineering, structural engineering firm, and another was a construction management firm. And I felt like if I was gonna use my degree, now was the chance to do it, because I felt like I could always go from design to construction, but never back from construction to design, because lots of formulas and, and uh, heavy math. So um, I took a job as a structural engineer. I designed curtain wall connections uh, for high rises in Chicago for about a year and a half. And I realized that I didn't want to have my head down in the books all day, for every day for the rest of my life. I liked meeting new people and learning new things. And I, on my way to work, I saw trailers for other construction companies. So I decided to put in a resume at construction firms. And so that's how I ended up in construction. And, and through construction, I just sort of was able to choose my own adventure, it seems like. My typical day uh, is filled with a lot of meetings, um, a lot of coordinating different people, activities, problems. Honestly, it's just problem solving over and over every single day. Sometimes it's the same problem for a few days at a time. Sometimes it's multiple problems in one day and it's just trying to get all the facts, um, get all the people that are involved and try to figure out what's the best way to move forward that's best for the company and best for the project. My favorite aspect about what I do is, is the problem solving. Like I am, it is like my default mode as a human. I want to solve problems and usually my family hates it because I'm trying to always solve their problems and they just want to, me to listen to them, but I'm always in a problem solving mode. And so I'm able to do that creatively um, and uniquely. And uh, that's, that's my favorite part, being able to apply what I've learned along the way to solve problems all the time with different people. Be yourself, um, never stop learning because you lose credibility and respect if you don't know what you're doing. And so never stop trying to learn more um, and, and gain the respect that way. Um, and as once you start to gain respect because you know what you're talking about and you know what you're doing, your personality comes into play then too. And so you earn rapport and, and even more respect and friendships and camaraderie that really make makes your job experience so much more rich because you care about these people. So be yourself and never stop learning. There's something out there for everybody, you know, and, and if, if at first you don't find it, don't don't settle, keep looking. You know, you'll always, you'll know, you'll know when you find it.